Inklings. Hello. Welcome to Inklings, stories by students, presented by Art Beyond the Ink. I'm Emily. And I'm Rebecca. And today we're going to welcome our very special guest. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Shiggy! Hello. Oh! Hello. So let's introduce Shiggy. Um, Shiggy is nine years old. He is from New York City. And a fun fact about Shiggy is that he likes to make towers and little castles out of Legos. That's pretty cool. Ooh, there's an example. Oh, no. Very cool. Oh my gosh, awesome. Wow. Um, what is your favorite type of music to listen to? Rock or maybe jazz. Ooh. Ooh, very cool. Is there any kind of music you don't like to listen to? Really annoying stuff. Really annoying stuff. Yeah, that's the most rock ever. Like metal, like really when when they scream. Yeah, I hate that one. So Shiggy, do you play any instruments? Yes, flute. That's it. Oh, that's just that's just not it. That's pretty cool. How long have you been playing the flute for? Three years, I'm guessing. Three oh, years. that's a long time. Three, long time. three months. I don't know. We <laughs> know. I forgot. Hint, hint to everyone watching, I'm Shiggy's flute teacher. He hasn't been playing for only three months. He's been playing for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now, Shiggy, do you know what this is? Clarinet. A clarinet. So yes. Good. What and do we know about clarinet? It uses, it's the, um, one of the instruments that uses a reed. Different it does use a reed. Now, million dollar question, do you know what a reed is made of? It's made of cane. It comes from swamps. Cane. Oh. Pretty cane. wild. Let's say. Cane wood. And I, yes. also, I also know that putting on a weed can be very difficult. It can be. It can be. It takes a lot of practice to put it on quickly. I'm going to play you some clarinet music. What we want you to do is just listen to it and think about what it makes you hear. So maybe you think of like a story or a picture or a mood, just something that it reminds you of, okay? Okay. All right, beautiful. <laughs> I was thinking of a grass field with a castle on like a top of a hill with um, a kid and some animals. Awesome. Very cool. So Let's now, draw that. you draw that for us. Can you show us more about this castle on the hill? Okay. <laughs> Shiggy, who lives in this castle? I don't know. It's been abandoned. <laughs> Ooh, maybe. Em Emily's actually going to play the next part of the melody, and maybe you'll hear who lives in this castle. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. Now I am gonna finish off this little section of our story and let's see what happens next. Got it. 
another story. So this, all right, so let's recap the story. There's a village and then a big forest that's separating the village from this abandoned castle on a hill. Mm -hmm. Is that right so far? Okay, and the castle is protected by all of these gates. To keep something out from anyone coming in. Ah, but then a bird okay. comes. What's that? For a reason. For a reason. Okay. But then a burglar decides that he wants to investigate this abandoned castle, breaks he, through the gates. But he thinks that there's a castle, there's treasure inside here because he thinks that because of so many gates, he's like, mm, maybe check if there is. So now he's in the castle and he has to go through this parkour obstacle course? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. So the trickster who owns who owned that castle, that's what he's saying? Yeah. Ah. It was it was on the exact wall. People weren't focusing on the wall. So they just were doing the parkour getting the treasure. But look. Wow. Take a look at the wall. <laughs> oh, I tricked you. Bye, people. You feed me. Ta -da -da. So basically that wall was a little secret door that he could just go past like. And so the trickster wait, so the trickster has been alive this whole time and just escaped. Yeah, he was he was always hiding in the wall. Don't uh, you see, don't you see that little like weird compartment there? Right. Mm -hmm. That's where he, that's where he was. He's like, oh, I just can't wait for someone to come. So basically, there's a fake window here, which is covered, and you can see. And he saw a human, and then when he passed by and got the thing, it freed him. And like, ha ha, trick you, bye. So I'm gonna play through the whole thing, and we are gonna listen for that kitchen and those feet and all these other tricks, the parkour and the village and the, the booby traps, all right? Ready. Bye. Bye.